Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game, the last episode! We finished off Murray with an epic combination of Poison and Gengar, so it's kinda like Poison Curse fun. But now we have a deck, it's called the... no, wrong button. It's called the Psychic Anger deck! Oh my god, I am so angry right now at this game, I don't know why. Um, but basically, I mean, just making sure this deck's in, in order. It's basically a Chop plus Hitmonchan sort of deck. Actually, it's pretty much all I have for the fight side, and then you got Alakazam. It's, it's a very offensive-based deck, so I'm really hoping it'll work out interestingly. And, well, we shall see if it will. Um, and maybe later I'll use Gengar, we'll see how I feel like doing this. But for now, I'm so angry. You mad, bro? I'm mad, because we're gonna go beat up some scientists with our anger, because we're like a bunch of bullies beating up scientists. I don't know, because we're going to the science club. I usually do stay at the science club or the fighting club for last, and, well, we're gonna do the science this time. Is there anything interesting over here? I forget. Um... Your name is Specs. Are you Choice Specs? I don't know, but whatever. Um, oh yeah, so we got, um, he's, this is another person who uh, informs you about Ishihara. We do not have a Club Fable yet. Um, you lost. Yeah, good for you, buddy. And the, how do you experiment with Pokemon cards? That doesn't make any sort of sense. If I play the mug here, then the guy will, no, you don't experiment with a drinker game. I just want to make sure there's like nothing new here at Ishihara's before we get started, because like, he, you he, still want Club Fable, right? Yeah, whatever. Do I have a Clefable, ball, please? Ah, man! All the cool cards. It's like every, I have like all these rare cards. I just don't have the one I need. I never have the one I need. It always takes me forever to get a Clefable. Screw you, Clefable. Clefable's like Dra Dragonair and Pidgeot, where there's like you have to get a bunch of rare cards in order for um to get the whole line. Like Pidgeotto and Pidgeot are both rare, and Dragonair and Dragonair are both rare. It's a miracle I have enough to play that set and actually do it well. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. There's um two there's two guys here, then there's a third one over here, and the gym leader's back there, obviously. So the gym leader, club leader, whatever. We're gonna fight Eric. Eric with a K, because you spell Eric with a K, maybe he's like Russian or something like that. I don't know. But um the science Pokemon, they are a grass based uh club. He does not look like anything like an Eric. Uh but they specialize in the type that are weak to psychic, which also have tend to have a lot of um poison and uh stunning sort of effects. I only have uh Mewtwo. That's not good because Mewtwo is more of a mid game Pokemon and not an early game Pokemon, so this is Kind of a horrible way to begin, but luckily it does have a lot of health, so I can tank, and hopefully a Nidoran will miss, because we all know how Nidoran is unreliable, but of course he's not unreliable when the computer's playing them. Screw you, game. Screw you. But um, let's see what we can get from here. We got an Abra and a Fighting Energy. That's not bad, though, because we have the whole Alakazam line here. So maybe we can make something interesting happen, and then the computer search, we can find something better to do with that later. Mewtwo is just going to die. It's kind of unfortunate, but... By the time he dies, I should have Kadabra in here to just wreck some face. And that's always good, so, um... I'm not- oh my goodness, see? I missed like four horn hazards in a row, and so far he's two for two. Just screw you, game. That's just rude. Uh, we do have a Machop as well, that's good, because I can also get the Machamp going, um, which needs something else to sacrifice and use the computer search for. Problem is, we're kind of running low on energy right now, please don't get the horn hazard, it's too early for a horn hazard. Of course, you get three in a row. Douchebag. Alright, whatever, what do we have to do here? Um, we're just gonna match up because Abra can die in one hit, and that would be bad news bears. So we're not gonna do that, um, what do you have? You have a coffee and a Weedle, we know how uh, annoying Weedle can be. Honestly, a Psychic Fire deck would be the best thing you could do here. I'm gonna attach this to Machop, I'm gonna really hope for Machoke here. Alright, I'm really- <laughs> wow, my voice just completely died there. I'm really hoping that, um, he doesn't get this hit here. Ooh, Ekans. We haven't seen Ekans yet. We haven't seen a lot of the poison ones because they tend to be in laboratory packs. What the hell? That's four in a row. Screw you, game. Screw you, noise. Um, all right. Now we have the interesting question of what exactly I want to do. Um, because does he have anything that on his bench that can kill me in one hit? That's the question of the day, and I don't think he does. Um, I don't want to attach an energy and then end up regretting it. Um, I'm going to attach this fighting energy. Oh, I gotta go for it. Um, we're going to do that, and I don't have enough of the computer search. Please tell me he doesn't have anything. I know Coffin needs two energies and can only do one. Weedle could kill me, but it's, no, he's gonna go for the Coffin because I can take more than one hit. Okay, so yeah, he can't attack. Thank goodness. And, oh, we have a second energy. That's good for Kadabra, and we can get nothing from the Pokeball. Screw that noise. Um, I'm just worried that he... I really want to get something. Uh, I could get rid of the... Psychic energy, but I really want to build this Kadabra as well. I'm gonna get Alakazam going because then I can use his damage swap to hopefully save my Machop. I'm really hoping he doesn't put another energy on Coughing because he could potentially kill me, but he doesn't. Okay, I'm playing really risky right now. Okay, Abra, don't need another Abra. A computer search. 
Uh, get rid of Abra, get rid of this uh, second Machamp, and let's get ourselves a Machoke. You're choking, boy, you're choking. Um, the nice thing is this actually makes a really nice combination because thanks to uh, Gazan's Pokemon power, I can actually move these um, energy, these dam this damage off of Machoke and on to Alakazam, which now will make his um, Cryochomp do 50 damage, which is really solid for just a, a second of evolution, just for three energies and just doing that much damage. I mean, obviously it has a very nice side effect, but this thing is just going to wreck his team now. And you know what? We're going to wreck it even further because here comes Machamp. What a champ. Um, the nice thing is, whenever your uh, opponent's attack does damage from a champ, you automatically do 10 damage back, so... Uh, very nice one. Then 60, it's just, uh, 60 for, uh, to, it's just, no, no extra effects, just 60 damage and that's it, which is pretty solid for a fully evolved Pokémon. Um, 4 energies, 60 damage, it's pretty standard for this kind of age and day. And here, there's a Hitmon and Chan, that's gonna be nice. I have 4 of those in this deck because that's kind of the whole thing with this, and this is gonna be annoying for the poisons. Which it does. Boo, who, freaking who. Um, I, I mean, obviously he doesn't really have a chance at this point, because I can definitely just kill him before the poison kills me. Uh, and Hitmonchan's everywhere! Especially because, well, actually Hitmonchan's are really nice to, uh, well, throw some damage on them. So, Alakazam, la di da di da di da let's get rid of all our damage and put it on a Hitmonchan. And now the Hitmonchan's almost gonna die, but that's okay because there's nothing this guy can do except almost die. He only has... When, where did he get the 10 damage from? I don't remember when... Oh, because he struck... Okay, you're gonna kill yourself, dude! I have Strike Back! Oh, okay, he's gonna... Oh, can it Strike Back knock Pokemon out? That's actually a good question. Uh, it can! So, there we go. I went in there to try to get a Mew, which actually would've been kind of... Well, Mew... I don't think... I don't think uh, it can stop Poison, so I guess Poison is a weakness to Mew. Uh... Or being confused in sleep, because most Pokemon powers don't work if you're confused, asleep, or paralyzed. So, yeah. Anyway, Evolution Pack, we get another Gengar, no one really cares. That's useless. And what's about in this one? It's a Jolteon, that could be cool if I was using a deck like that anymore, which I'm not. So that was kind of a useless pack. And that's okay. So we're about 7 minutes and 30 seconds in. Seems like a good time to fight someone else of our deck. It's not working with blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 machines, blah, blah, blah. David, blah, blah, blah. You're sticking your finger up in the air. I really hope that's not your middle finger, because that'd be really funny. Anyway, he uses a Nidoran based deck. We've kind of used one before. Um, we'll see how it expect uh, how it works. Hopefully, you won't have a Nidoran who cord hazards every freaking time like a douchebag. But we'll see how that works. Uh, Hitmon Chan's gonna go in there, take some hits while he hits some jabs. And wow, he has like no Pokemon in his bench. He's going to die really fast to Hitmon Chan. Except, the oh crap, that's a far fetched. Well, son of a crap, that's resisting foot of fighting. That's the only problem with this deck, is I didn't really plan it out very well. A lot of these Pokémon can actually resist fighting moves, which sucks to be me. Um, I guess in this case, well, I can't do anything to this guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and start charging up much up and just let this guy tank some hits, because it's going to take a while, especially because his first hit missed. Uh, he's going to definitely finish me off, but hopefully I can get Machoke. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's good. this is going to be interesting if all these Hitmonchans. Uh, I'll keep this one in here in order to use Super Energy Retrieval later in the match. In case Machoke dies, because probably he's gonna get some basic Pokemon soon enough. Although so far he's not. Now he's gonna. Don't, who throws a pot? Or well, I guess I could make other sort of pot-based jokes, but I'm gonna try to be somewhat classy. Um, that's the only problem is fighting and psychic bow have a lot of resistances. Luckily, the uh, psychic resistance usually ha implies a normal weakness, so I can make take advantage of that. But situations like this just shut my offensive down cold. Stupid flying types, pain in the ass. Unfortunately, since Golbat is a flying type as well... Oh, he has another Pokemon now that I just realized that... Darn it. Well, that's annoying. Um, another Machoke. I don't need a Machoke, though. I need a freaking... Grr... Brr, brr, brr. Um... Yes, I need a Grr... Brr, 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 whatever the hell that means. I'm gonna go ahead and gust the wind him out to... Well, no. I'm gonna let him kill me first, then I'll gust the wind out to Machop... And then switch Machop in, gust the wind out, and let this coughing die. Or it be can become a Weezing, and then I can become scared of it. Okay. Well, guys, we have a match on our hands now, which is rather unfortunate. Uh, Machop or Abra? I'm gonna send Abra in. I'm gonna guess the wind. And Alakazam's here, but that's not gonna do me any good. It's not gonna do me any good. I'm gonna throw this on the bench because I want me not need it later. I need some better Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna need to freaking hacks my face off here with my, uh, what can, you, what can you do already? You can do smog and poison, kill me one hit. Or you can self-destruct, I don't think he'll be that stupid. Let's get some para-hacks, so three heads in a row, or two heads in a row and he'll die, but of course, 
game. We can't have nice things. We can't have nice things. The moral of the story. It's my line for this entire game. It's always like a, you always have like a catchphrase. Oh look, he has another. Ah, oh, this is an annoying game. You are sometimes so annoying. Please don't do no bad things to me. Please don't self-destruct. Of course you're gonna self-destruct. You douchebag. Well, Abra's dead, but that will kill his wheezing as well. I'm going to need something. Um, hopefully, oh, he's like so many far-fetched D's. My goodness, I don't even know. I don't even know. I need to, okay, I got a psychic energy. That, that doesn't do me any good. Uh, I'm not gonna send him a chop out and just get killed, so. Hitmonchan tank again? Yeah, I figured it was gonna be a far-fetched. Probably the one, yeah, the one with energies, of course. Oh boy, oh boy. What am I gonna do here? Um, I'm gonna use a Pokeball, and I'm going to get, uh, well, I'm gonna get a Mewtwo. I think that seems like my best option at the moment is a Mewtwo. Uh, gonna throw that on the bench, throw a Psychic Energy on it, and I'm gonna freaking pray that I get a Fight Energy sometime soon so I can use uh, the choke and start killing people. Because otherwise, there's going to be issues here. Because I can't do anything! Game! I don't want to lose against a scientist. Look, I have a Machamp here all ready to go. And it's going to be freaking awesome, but it's not going to help if I can't get another two fighting energies before I die, and I'm going to die right now. Grr, game. Well, the nice thing is Mewtwo can finish him off uh, pretty quickly, assuming I can get an energy, which I'm going to hope I can. Uh, Machoke can't do shit right now. Gust of Wind, well, I can stall out with Gust of Wind at least. Um, what's the best thing to stall out? I'm going to stall out into this Farfetch'd D. Well, no, I really wish I could kill the other one. No, we're going to we're gonna kill this. We're going to go out to this Farfetch'd D. I'm going to really hope I can get the uh, a Flight Energy X turn, and this attack's going to miss. Please miss, dude. Please miss, dude. Please, please, please. Of course, I am... Well, actually, no, that was, that was a good thing. Okay, for the look of that, I thought you hit, but apparently I'm just blind. Oh, thank you for another energy, finally. Okay. So Mewtwo can go ahead and start killing. That's good. Uh, we'll go ahead for a Cyburn. Hopefully, I can get a Flight Energy. Macho can come in here. And I can have an epic comeback, because right now I'm actually kind of panicked. Bill should help me do that. His Farfetch'd D is not going to be able to live this. So, okay, he's going to... Why did you... Why did you do that? You're an idiot, dude. Whatever. Okay, let's just draw some... Uh, energies, energies, energies. Okay, a uh, bill for a bill again. Energies, energies. Oh, those are psychic... Uh, God, game. Game. All right. Well, that's not going to really help us much, unfortunately. Um... I really don't have anything. I'm going to have Psychic Energy this Machop. And it's just going to be a slow death for this Meowth then, because he's not going to apparently attack with it, and I'm not going to apparently kill it really fast, because I can only do 10 damage a hit, which is better than nothing, because at least I can make progress. However, that is going to scare me, so... Thank you, Machoke. It's about time. Um, well, I, the question is what I want to do here. Uh, I'm going to keep going at the Cyber, and I'm going to really hope I can get the... Uh, I could switch him a choke, but I'm kind of worried what's going to happen after that, because the Karate Chop is not going to be enough for me to do much. Well, I could go for submission, but that is kind of risky. Uh, I'm wondering, like, I don't know. I don't know what's the best thing to do here. What does he have on his bench? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, this uh, Machoke can handle. This Machoke can probably handle too, and then, I don't, I don't know. This is a tough call. Um, he can kill a pincer in one hit. That's the good news, although... This guillotine's scary. You know... I'm gonna take a risk here. No, I don't want to discard two energies. No, yes, I am. Take a risk, a choke, uh, add a psychic energy to it, and I'm really gonna hope for a fight energy at some point. I'm going to use this super energy retrieval to get myself uh, those energy. No, not, it's too soon for that. Um, Alright, Cryochop's gonna kill this thing instantly with... AD, but his Farfetch'd is gonna resist that, but at the same time... Ooh, Computer Search, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, I think I got this now. This is gonna hurt. A lot. I'm not gonna be able to kill it one hit, but I do have Machamp, so... Oh, well, there we go. I got it now, then. Uh, so Machamp can come in here. I can go ahead and counter using this, um, and Sizemon Toss will do 30 damage to the Farfetch'd. Not gonna be enough to kill, but it'll be enough to deter it from doing anything, hopefully. So, let's give that a try. That's going to do 30 damage. And what's he going to do now? What are you going to do now, sir? You're going to make it get a Nidoqueen. Are you going to retreat to it, though? No, he's not. He's going to kill him. You know, this is the episode where we fight suicidal scientists, apparently. So, 
even then, though, the Nidoqueen Queen, I don't think would have been able to do enough to scare me off. Um, I could have always switched into Mewtwo again and then killed it with a Cyburn. Because that would do, uh, that have weakness and that'd be good as well, so... Let's get the pack. We get a Nidoqueen. That's actually kind of funny. I could make a Nidoking Nidoqueen deck, I guess, but I don't really want to. Uh, Vile Plume's not going to help us much when we don't have any... Well, do we have the Oddish line now? That'd be an interesting question to ask for later. Let's find out before I end this episode. Uh, so, do we have Oddishes and stuff? Uh, the answer is... Well, actually, yeah, we do have Nidoqueen. We have a pretty decent Nidoqueen here. Uh, we don't have enough Nidoqueen, really. Uh, we kind of, we need, I kind of, if I had one more Oddish, that'd be good. Oh, wait, that's the Oddish I traded away. Well, derpy derp big derperson. Um, anyway, we're just, I'm not going to change anything in this deck yet. I'm kind of happy with it. So, this is Lucky7DX, signing out. Stay tuned for the next episode where we continue to fight these little emo suicidal scientists, and I hope that wasn't very offensive. Goodbye, people with the weirdest outro ever.